surprisingly, in most markets, including Atlanta, we have higher nightly rates and higher occupancies than we did the year before. Um, but we'd love to hear your perspective, uh, what, what you're seeing and what you think uh, we're going to end up with uh, going into next year and into the future. Yeah, well, uh, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic about this next year. Um, one of the reasons for that is that 2023, in retrospect, was so hard uh, in so many ways. You know, just I remember talking with Jamie, uh, I think in, the, in January of 23 and looking at the economy and just just not knowing what to do. The inflation rate was was through the roof. Um, the labor market was holding strong, uh, but wages were not keeping up with inflation at all. And that is always a very, very bad uh, time for the consumer, uh, you know, because, you know, the, the groceries, the rent, the gas, everything was sort of uh, putting a big crimp on everyone's budget. And travel is unfortunately one of the things that people will cut if, if they are, are pressed. Um, even though I think, you know, it's, it's not really a luxury. I think travel is a necessity to keep saying in this kind of world, uh, you got to get out there and travel. 